Guys, I'm so stoked about my makeup today. I'm filming this during the daytime. Pfft, there's hair in my mouth. How is it that there's always hair in my mouth? It's definitely your hair. Hey friends, welcome back. So it's no secret that Phoenix is a little bit spoiled. And she has a bed in almost every room of the house. Yet she still somehow sleeps on the couch. But people ask me sometimes like, how do you get your dog to sleep on their bed and know that like that's their bed? She's used to like very soft cushiony beds that we usually get at Costco and they're huge and they're very heavy, but they don't really work for outside. And now that we live in California, you know, she spends a lot more time like hanging out outside, especially now during the Southern California winter where it's been a little bit cooler. So she has the opportunity to just like lay around outside. She's not exactly used to like an elevated bed that you guys have seen maybe on the internet. I figured we could try this out and see if she can be trained to sit on that bed as her new bed and if she uses it. This video is sponsored by Vihu. They sent us their Vihu Elevated Pet Bed. I don't know if I'm saying that right. V Vihu? Anyway, you can find it on Amazon. We have a 5% off discount code. I'll put it in the description box below. Full transparency, they sent us this bed. We're gonna try it out and I'm going to see if I can train Phoenix to use it as a bed. I'm super excited about it because we do live in Southern California now, so when it starts to get hot, I think it might be nice for her to be elevated off the ground. Gotta get that ventilation going. I'm also super excited because I am filming this in the daytime. Mike and Tiny are off doing stuff, hanging out, so I get to hang out with you fine people. All right, let's go. So it was actually pretty easy to put together. Like it seemed really sturdy and the fabric was like, not fabric, I don't know, I don't know what, what I would call it. It just like, it's not like a blanket. It's more like, like a, it's a very sturdy tarp. So like I wouldn't be worried about like dog's nails like digging into it um, or them like eating it or whatever. I don't know, let me know in the comments if like your dog has eaten a bed like this. I would be pretty impressed. I think it's a good solution because our dog Falcon used to eat like blankets and towels and beds and stuff too. So this would have worked out for that kind of situation. dog to go to bed or go to place whatever you want to pick out like what the phrasing is that you want them to learn so we usually use place in our house because like bed for us means like our actual bed we've been using go to place for Phoenix and it's probably not gonna be that hard to teach her to sleep on this bed or to go on this bed because she has so many beds in the house anyway and they're all called place so she'll get it she also seemed to really like it and uh, you guys that have huskies know that a lot of times you can train them and they They'll listen to you while you have treats in your hands, but really like the stuff they do is because they just want to do it. So it works out that Phoenix likes to sleep in beds. So I started with these little uh, training treats. They're like Zook's training treats. We use them for everything from like giving her pills to like rewarding her. I, of course, have them in my pocket. <laughs> I'm just a lady who always has treats in her pocket. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Phoenix to sit next to the bed so that I have her attention and I'll give her a reward for that. And then I tell her to go to place and I'll usually lead her there with the treat. And then once she gets on there, I ask her to sit and then I put her reward on the bed itself so that she associates that reward with being on the bed. You may have to do this many, many times. You may have to only do this a couple times. It really depends on your dog. When we were training Falcon to do this, it took so many tries because she just, <laughs> she would just like sit half of her butt on the bed and I'd be like, I don't know. Do I give you credit for this or not? I'm confused. I don't know if she really got the point. <laughs> But Phoenix is super great at going to place, so it doesn't really take that much to get her to do it. And even if I give her a command from like further away and I tell her to go there over time and after a bunch of repetitions, she'll know like, okay, that's where they want me to go. So it's good to try like different iterations of this. I stand by the bed and I tell her to go to place and that you can get further and further away as your dog gets better. 
and then if they're really, really awesome, you can tell them from anywhere in the house to go to place and then they'll run and run and run to their bed and then sit down in it and wait for you. I tried a couple different scenarios with Phoenix. She was super excited to just get treats, but there came a point where she was like, I am too lazy for treats and I'm pretty comfortable right now, so I'm just gonna sit on this bed. She seemed super happy about it. It looks very comfortable and very sturdy. I even sat in it with her because we have an extra large bed and I think that's for like dogs that are over 100 pounds maybe, but it'll definitely be able to support them. Some more stuff about the bed, it is elevated off the ground so it should give them a better quality of sleep and be better for their joints so they're not just like on hard ground all the time which is such a reality right now for Phoenix she's like nine years old so she starts to get sore at the end of the day and we have taken her to the vet to see if something was wrong you know and uh, she seems totally fine she just gets tired and very sore so Hopefully this helps out with that. And the fact that it is elevated off the ground means that it's good for air circulation. And something that I was super worried about moving to Southern California was the fact that she might get too hot in the summer. So I'm pretty excited about having a bed that is up off the ground so that she can get aired out <laughs> in all seasons. We're gonna keep that bed outside. It's machine washable, which is definitely a plus, but most likely I'll probably be spraying it with the hose. And since it is elevated off the ground, it should dry pretty quickly. And it's also supposed to be like resistant to rust, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep it outside and I'll let you guys know. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys have gotten the same bed for your dogs. And thank you so much to Vihu for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending us this elevated pet bed for us to try out and review. It was awesome. Good luck to all of you guys trying to train your dogs to go to place. Let me know how that's working out for all of you and if you have any other tips and tricks, I'm always trying to learn new stuff. Share it in the comment section below and maybe it will help somebody else. All in all, Phoenix seemed to really enjoy the bed. I'm excited to have it outside so that whenever we're hanging out out there, she can just lounge. She looks like a queen sitting on that thing. If you guys are interested in getting this Vihu Elevated Pet Bed, we do have a 5% discount code. I will put it in the description box below. The code expires at the end of March, the last day of March, March 31st. So make sure you check it out before then and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here. And if you wanna see my vlog channel, you can go down there. And now that we're into this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.